Got my new cup of coffee. It says Fila's Navidad. Let's get into it. All right, so why did Molin shoot up today? We saw it go over 20% in the middle of the day still. We got a ton of volume, over 300 million in volume. So let's get into why this stock went up. So the first thing I wanna show you is exactly what I went over this morning before the market went opened up, okay? The RSI, way oversold, it's pointing up. You can see I drew this out this morning and what happened when the market opened? We shot up over 20%. So I've been saying in my videos, if you've been following me, if you're subscribed to my channel, I've been saying this every single day that we are due for a pop. We see all these pops come out, 20%, 40%, 100%, almost 200%, okay? We're due for a pop. We just got one this morning. Now it was nice, and if you wanted to get out of Mullen stock, if you watched my video from two days ago, I believe, I said you gotta sell these pops. So when the market goes up, you gotta sell because it might come back down. We don't know. But this is one of my theories on why it popped today because we're way oversold, okay? The second reason we went up today was we had some great news. And what have I been saying? Once we get great news, we're gonna see positive things from the stock, and that's exactly what happened. This is why I'm not concerned, why I haven't sold any of my Mullen stock, why I have been buying as it has been coming down, is because I know this is how this game works, okay? Nothing I say is financial advice but this is exactly what I was saying this morning. So if you're subscribed to my channel, if you're watching my videos, congrats. If you took profits today, congrats. If you're still holding, congrats. Let's get into the news. All right, so this is what you all have been waiting for. Molin shares rise 17% after closing on the factory. Okay, Molin Automotive Inc. shares were up 17% to 22 cents. We actually went up to over 24 cents after the company said it closed on the acquisition of Electric Last Mile Solutions assets on Wednesday in an all cash purchase valued at 105 million. The electric vehicle maker said the acquisition will allow it to launch into the commercial market much earlier than previously planned. Upon the completion of final certification, it is anticipated that Mullen will be delivering class one products in the first quarter of 2023. You understand that's like three months away, right? That's pretty awesome. Followed by its class three vehicles in the following quarter. The buy includes a Mishwaka, Indiana factory, which previously produced General Motors, Hummer H2, and the Mercedes Benz R class vehicles. So, this is all news that we've already had. This is just showing us that they closed the deal. So, we do have a statement from the CEO, but let's read this real quick. The 105 million all cash deal includes the acquisition of all IP and inventory belonging to Elms including uh, its Mishawaka, Indiana factory. The plant is projected to be utilized to produce the Molin 5. Okay, that's what we've been looking forward to. This is, they've been doing tours all over California, Texas, Las Vegas. I think they're going to Tennessee next or they're already there. But the Molin 5, we've done reviews on this. I've compared it to the Tesla Model Y. The Molin 5 is 10 times better than the Tesla Model Y. So this is good that they have this plant to build this car and the Bollinger B1 and B2 platforms. Now, this is really interesting because the Bollinger can actually be utilized for like military possibly. So that's even more long-term bullish thinking. And then the CEO said, I have been working on this plan for many years, putting in place the strategic and critical enablers to be a dominant competitor in the EV market. Mullen CEO, David said, successfully completing his asset acquisition, moves Mullen into an all new position with IP plants and product platforms that no other competitor can offer to both retail and commercial customers. That's a pretty big deal. We have everything we need to launch the Mullen and Bollinger EV products lineup. So this is all like we're pre-production still, but this is very positive for a company that wants to go into production. Okay, this is why the stock rose today and why I believe it might keep rising. Let's talk about it though. All right guys, so where is Mullen stock going next? Two things can happen. If you notice, now we have a gap fill, okay? There's a gap fill that we gotta fill, which is negative. So we could go back down over these next couple of days to fill that gap. We've always filled every gap. Okay, 
back in October when we had that almost 200% run up, we came down and guess what? We filled the gap that was right down there, right there at that corner, okay? And then now we might be making our way back up, but we could come back down. I think it's like 20 cents, 19 cents to fill that gap from today's pump. But more gap fills to the positive, we got to fill 25 cents. So that's my next target is 25 cents. But ultimately, we got to get up to 45 cents because there's a huge gap up there. Now, we could run up to 45 cents. We've obviously seen us do that before. But again, I still think we could come down um, unless we just keep getting more and more positive news. All right, so that's kind of how I'm looking at this right now. But again, very good day from Molenstock. Congrats if you've been holding. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I bring you new Molen videos every single day. If you want more information on the stocks that I hold when I am selling out of Molen stock and all my other stock positions, and if you want to learn more how I think and how to win this next year in 2023, check out my Patreon down below. It's $5 a month, 16 cents a day. It's really nothing. It just helps motivate me to make you better videos every single day. Have a great one.